What is going on, beautiful people? It's your boy, Blue, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today, we are flying the Cessna Citation Mustang from Chicago Executive to Toronto City Airport. But we have four very special guests on board with us today. So welcome aboard, AVO Man, Joe Person, HRB, and RPG Ryan. Thank you so much for your support and being channel members. I am truly, truly grateful. All right, let's go fly. Okay, first let's get the cargo doors shut. We'll use a little phone right here and we'll click on close. That'll shut our cargo doors. And we'll also go ahead and remove the red carpet. That'll also get rid of the Rolls Royce out there. And we will go ahead and remove the chocks and then get the door shut because we're gonna start the engines pretty much immediately here, so. Here we go, back up front. And let's go ahead and hide our yoke here. And we'll go down here and make sure our left and right gins are set to gins. So that's the up position, left and right. Make sure our ignition switches are set to norm, which they are. And then our fuel boost pumps are gonna be set to norm as well, which is down position. There it is. And it will reach to the right side next to our co-pilot and push in the oxygen supply. And it's good to go. And now we'll get our battery turned on. All right, we're rocking the Garmin G1000 NXI today. Let's go ahead and click on continue. And we're actually gonna get the aircraft powered up first before we put our flight plan in uh, because the battery drains very fast in this aircraft. So we already got our fuel loaded, we're good there. And avionics are powered and on. Let's get the beacon lights on and nav lights on. And I think I also forgot to put on the anti-skid. Not necessarily needed to start the engines, but we'll do that anyways and we'll get the passenger signs on as well. And then all we really need to do is just hit engine start. So we'll start engine two first. Got our panel lighting here. And then we'll reach down here and push this into ground idle, the right throttle, and that's firing up. And we'll also Wait for it to go stable. There it is. So now it lights out on engine start, and starting engine one. And again, hitting the button underneath the throttle, put it into ground idle. All right, beautiful. Engines are up and stable. I'm gonna go over here and get our air conditioning turned on and make sure our cockpit and cabin fans are on, which they are. Our ELT is armed and that is good for now. All right, let's jump into our G1000 and put our flight plan in. All right, the whole flight plan's in there. Uh, definitely took longer than it should have, but hey, let's go ahead and move on to our approach uh, into Toronto. So I'm gonna go to, my, make sure destination is highlighted, and then I'm going to click on procedure. There you can see here, and select, uh, it's, it's not, we don't have an arrival, uh, but if you had an arrival, this is where you would put it. So we're gonna select approach, so I'm gonna Go back down here, hit enter on approach. And then now it's gonna pop up with all the different approaches that we can get into Toronto. So we're gonna go with localizer 26. And um, that's, yeah, we'll just go with that today. Let's we'll scroll down and hit enter on localizer 26. And now it's asking us, what is our transition for that? And let me find out what it is. All right, so our transition is going to be Alger. I'm just gonna scroll down to Alger and hit enter. And then it's gonna ask for our minimums. Uh, minimums are, all right, for minimums, it's going to be 720. So again, we've got to use our scroll and then 720. I, oh, I can just scroll it up. All right, so we'll scroll it up until we get to 720 feet. And that'll be our minimums for our arrival into Toronto. Just one thing, lastly, we're going to do is going to go to our left screen and we're going to go to CDI here in the middle. That's going to switch us from localizer one, localizer two to GPS. So now our aircraft will actually follow the GPS. And also, uh, I'm gonna set my altitude. You can see the blue number now changing. I believe 2000 is a restriction at some point in our flight, I think on our approach. But I'm gonna scroll it all the way up to 35,000 feet and then we'll get our radios tuned and we'll get out of here. All right, uh, altitude is set, 35,000 feet, and we'll set our altimeter. Okay, altitude is set and altimeter is set. We'll go here on our left MFD, and we'll click CDI. Make sure I set the GPS. Our V speeds are already set and ready to go. We are ready to taxi. Chicago Executive Cessna 16 Bravo taxiing, Citation 16 Bravo taxiing runway 16 via Kilo. Chicago Executive. 
All right, quick departure brief. We're here in Chicago Executive. The winds are 190 at 14 knots. We have a bit of a storm on the way in. It's getting dark. So I'm gonna get out of here as fast as we can. All timber 306, and we're heading out on runway 16. It'll be a 180 degree turn back to the north, and we could flying up to 35,000 feet. All right, we're here at runway 16 at Kilo, and we're good to go. Chicago Executive Cessna 1 Citation 16, we'll take it off runway 16, uh, departing to the north. Make left traffic, Chicago Executive. All right, final's clear on the right, and it looks like runway is clear on the left. I do see another aircraft. I'm not sure if he's on the crossing runway or on the ramp, but he didn't make any calls, so we should be safe to take off. This is indeed runway 16. There we go, and run it up. Take off power. Alright, power set. Airspeed's alive. Ninety knots. Oh, it's windy. It is very windy. Got a crosswind and rotate. Ah, uh, just break your very tricky cross <laughs> crosswind takeoff right there. Traffic right over the top was like jet blue. And as I said, we'll make that left turn, climb a left turn. Kind of bumpy too. Chicago area traffic says the citation once it's Bravo departing Chicago executive passing 2000. Left traffic to the north last call. All right, let's go flaps up into the soup. Oh man, traffic right underneath us, that's dangerous. We're in the clouds now, so I'm completely relying on my instruments. Uh, let's go yawn amper on, flight director on, and half bank. Passing 6,000 now. What a gorgeous view. And just for the fun of it, we're going to try to shoot this gap between the clouds before we continue in route. And there we go, shooting the gap between the clouds. Now that looks like a fun gap right there. All right, let's go ahead and bank to the right and continue on course. And that right there is I can't remember what lake that is. Yeah, sorry, that is actually Lake Michigan on the right as we're turning back on course. And uh, Chicago right here is actually south of here. We're passing 10,000 now. We go over here and hit nav mode and flight change. And we'll climb out like 210. All right, and autopilot engage. All right, looks like we're on course. There's our airplane right there on the G1000. Passing 14,300, 213 knots on flight change mode, nav mode. All right, and there it is. Finally, 35,000 feet here in the Cessna Citation Mustang, and we're about 45 minutes away from our final destination. You can see on our map here it shows top of the scent, which is actually surprising. I wasn't expecting to see that at all, but we are using the G1000 NXI mod, so uh, this is a little bit better than, than the default. Alright, so we are pretty much there. You can see here, active VNAV profile, vertical speed target. Uh, vertical speed required and a countdown to our top of descent as well as the altitude or waypoint where we need to be at 2,000 feet so we'll have to watch this and play and see if it actually works and here we go and look at that oh I'm actually legit surprised see our vertical speed is dropping well since we're descending 
Uh, let's go ahead and get our weather as well. Our weather in Toronto is today. Winds are 060 at 11 knots. Visibility is nine. Temperature is uh, 16, dew point is 10. Altimeter is 3015. We're expecting to land on runway 26 on the localizer. So we'll do our best there. We already have that program into our G1000 here. If I click the center button and I can actually scroll through our flight plan, you can see we have all of our approach already programmed in here, as well as the 2000 feet at Vipreeze. Descending down into Toronto City Center. All right, we're flying right over top of Toronto International Airport. You can see we're not far now from Toronto City Center. So go ahead and bring our throttle back. Like all the way back. We'll turn the land lights on and we'll get ready to land in Toronto. You can see we go out to Alkeg and then come right back into Toronto City. All right, so your speed's coming way back. I mean, we don't even need the speed brakes. We can just go just like that. Let's get some more power. We just drop underneath 10,000 feet, so let's make sure we're good there. Uh, currently not showing any vertical deviation, only about nine feet. And let's double check our nav radios. So the localizer is not an ILS, but the localizer is on, uh, I believe it's on frequency 110.15. Which is looks like it's already set on nav one. Yeah, perfect. So that's good to go there. But looking really good, man. This VNAV is working really well. I am very, very impressed. Very, very impressed. And look at beautiful Toronto City down below us. Look at that. Yep, passing 5,000 feet. One thing I really like is that the G1000 just really works really well. It automatically, from our last waypoint, connected us to our first waypoint on our approach. So you can see right now it's going to Alkeg, and then from there it's going to continue to Vipri. And I didn't have to click on anything. Uh, only thing I did was I hit VNAV right before I top of the ascent, and that's because I did not climb with VNAV, so we should be pretty good. As long as this runway is long enough for this aircraft, we should be perfectly fine. Bravo City traffic, Cessna Citation 16 Bravo's on a right base runway 26. Oh, look at that view of our right wing. Got a big park right there, downtown in the distance. I love this view. Alright, final altitude is set, our altimeter is set, 3015, as I just said, we're on a, a right base, runway 26 localizer, seatbelt signs are good, land lights are on, gonna get ourselves slowed down, slow enough for approach flaps. All right, we're meeting the localizer. We're gonna hit approach mode. Or yeah, nav needs to be on. Nav is on. And there it is. Did it do it? I don't think we even use that. Yes. All right, so nav is selected. It's a localizer. It's not a, an ILS, so I don't think we apply approach on there. You can see Toronto off our nose. Let's give it some more power. We're holding two two thousand feet. And approach flaps. Kind of low visibility here, so I can't see too well. I have no idea what my approach speed is, so we're gonna wing it. All right, let's do it. Autopilot's off, yaw damper's off, my controls. We are on a five mile final for runway 26 in Toronto. Toronto City, says in citation 16 Bravo, it's five mile final, runway 26. All right, it's kind of low visibility, so I can kind of just barely... Okay, now i got eyes on the runway. There it is right there. Oh, this is a gorgeous approach. 
Wow. All right, let's drop the gear. And make sure that they actually fully extend because once I landed with no gear, I got two green, three green. There we go. And full approach flaps. It is definitely a little windy. Got a crosswind, about three five knots. Three to five knots, not 35 knots. And Toronto City Center traffic. Citation 16 Bravo now short final runway 26. Toronto. Alright, it's so a short runway, so we gotta make sure we plant it right there on the marks. Here we come. I see two red, it means we are a bit low, but I think we're okay. And butter. Alright, there's no reverses on this baby, so let's get it stopped. Not a lot of runway. Don't have much room here. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Toronto City. But I hope you guys enjoyed the flight as much as I did. I really do like this plane quite a lot. I just don't like the keyboard and the G1000. Other than that, I think it's great. A huge shout out to every single one of you guys for supporting the channel. Big thank you to all of our channel members. And until next time, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, or give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time for the next video. I'm out.